Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IATF qualified author and doing audit for automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between prototype, pre-launch and production control plan? So by the time I will complete this video, you will understand what is control plan, what are different types of control plan that is prototype, pre-launch and production, what are the key differences between all of them and what are the challenges that industry is facing at the moment. So before going further, let me give you an example about an Indian marriage, where generally the marriage is in three parts. The first part is when there is sort of a small ceremony where it is decided that this boy and boy, girl are going to marry, we call it generally Roka, followed by engagement and then the marriage. Something similar is with prototype, pre-launch and production control plan. So to first tell about what is control plan. So control plan basically is a documented description of the systems and processes required for controlling the manufacturing of a product. So it's a comprehensive document which talks in detail about how to make a particular product. Then there are three different kinds of control plan at different stages. So the first one is prototype control plan. When we say prototype control plan by name it signifies then it's an experimental or developmental formulation of different processes that what we need to do and what we not need to do. And prototype control plan is generally optional because it is primarily applicable where either the customer is demanding it or the organization is design responsible. When we talk about pre-launch control plan, so the pre-launch control plan is a control plan wherein we talk in detail about, about the dimensions, testing, material specification, maybe something related to special characteristics, but primarily it is being made before the mass scale production and at the time of scaling up the existing production. And the third one that is production control plan. So this is a control plan which is made in much more detail about the dimensions, testing, special characteristics and many other things and this is primarily at the time of a normal production. In general when we talk about control plan we generally say that it is a live document and it should be regularly updated as and when changes are happening in the organization. If I talk about some of the key challenges or maybe some of the key differences between prototype, pre-launch and production control plan, to start with when we talk about prototype control plan, the first and the most important thing is that it is an output of APQP second edition manual second phase. When we talk about pre-launch control plan, then it is an output of APQP second edition's third phase, which is when we talk about PFME in the beginning. And then when we talk about production control plan, basically we are talking about the fourth phase of the APQP manual. It is an output of that particular phase. In general, the prototype control plan is made with the temporary tooling. But when we talk about pre-launch control plan, it is made with broadly the tooling that is going to be used in the mass production. There can be some changes. But certainly, the production control plan is assumed that whatever tooling, fixture, gauges are there, they will be used regularly in the mass production also. When we talk about prototype control plan, generally the number of samples that we are prepared are 2 to 5 depending upon the customer requirement. But when we talk about pre-launch control plan, either it is as per PPAP 4th edition where there is a requirement of 8 hours of mass production or maybe 300 pieces or in case there is a customer requirement. But when we talk about control plan which is made for the production, then it is for mass production which is required for day to day working. When we talk about prototype control plan, the importance of tol tolerances is very negligible. We don't talk much about the tolerances. But in case of pre-launch and production control plan, the role of tolerances is very important and that needs to be maintained to ensure that the product quality is good. In case of prototype control plan, there is the process sequence is there. But then it is not fixed because it can change from time to time. But in case of pre-launch control plan, broadly the process sequence, how the metal will flow from the beginning till the end is fixed. But it can change during the trial production. But in case of production control plan, everything is freezed and everything is being done as per the customer approval. In case of prototype control plan, generally there is no special characteristic which is being defined. But in case of pre-launch and production control plan, special characteristics are defined and they are being followed as per the requirement. 
Since we are making only few pieces, two to five, the sample size is generally 100% for inspection. But in case of production control plant, since we are making approximately 300 pieces at the most, so the sample size may be said after 50 pieces we need to check that what is the dimensions and what are the other things which is happening or not. But in case of mass when you are doing the mass production. So, at that time it depends upon the requirement or as per the customer approval, it can be 2 to 5 pieces after every 2 hours. In case of prototype control plant, the inspection frequency is 100 obviously because we are making only 2 to 5 pieces. But in case of pre-launch control plant, the inspection frequency will be little bit higher. But in case of mass production when we are doing at that time it will be as per the agreement with the customer generally it is after every two hours or four hours depending upon the criticality in case of production control plan generally the evaluation method like the use of gauges measuring instruments all temporary because we don't know exactly what is the final output that is going to be there but in case of pre-launch control plan generally the evaluation method is fixed at times while doing the trial production there is a possibility there can be some change so that can reflect in the production control plan. In case of prototype control plan since we are making couple of pieces so there is no statistical study but yes in pre-launch control plan we do see the process that how the process is working and uh, what kind of uh, stability the process is giving. And in case of production control plan there is a requirement that uh, whenever we are doing SPC study we need to see that based on the upper control limit and lower control limit how the process is performing and how the things are happening. No need for any poka yoka in prototype control plan, but in production control plan as well as production con and pre-launch control plan, poka yoka are required. And sometimes during pre-launch stage, when we are doing the trial production, depending on the requirement, we may add some new poka yoka depending on the requirement. Similarly, in prototype control plan, there is no need for any reaction plan. But in case of pre-launch and production control plan, we need to have a reaction plan which should be there that in case of any failure, what needs to be done. And based on the performance in pre-launch during production control plan, some things can be fine-tuned during that time. If I talk about some of the key challenges that industry is facing with respect to the control plans, so the first one is how often the people are clear about the difference between prototype, pre-launch and production control plan. Secondly, even if we are clear about it, it's very common to see that we use the same control plan which is being used in the pre-launch for the mass production also. And generally the tick mark which is there between prototype, pre-launch and production that still remains at pre-launch because we don't feel that there is any difference between pre-launch and production control plan. And thirdly and the most important thing, we generally say that control plan is a live document, but you may see in the industry, even after five years, you still find the same revision number of the control plan. So that shows that how much it is live document. So if I talk about some of the key differences again as a summary between prototype, pre-launch and production control plan. So when we talk about prototype control plan, so basically it is an output of APQB second editions phase two. There is no need for any poka yoka, no reaction plan, the sample size is 100%. So broadly it is we are everything doing 100% there. When we talk about pre-launch control plan, so basically it is an output of phase 3 of VQP manual. So here the sample size is comparatively higher, the sampling frequency is also higher, the evaluation method is broadly freezed but can change later on. And broadly during this study, we also do the SPC study to see that how the process is behaving at this moment. And when we talk about production control plan, it's an output of fourth phase of VPQP manual. In this, the sampling plan is fixed, sampling frequency is fixed, the evaluation technique is also fixed. And we do the SPC study to see that whether the process is capable of meeting the requirements or not. My next video will be with respect to the key difference between plan and unplanned shutdown. I am regularly getting a lot of feedback from your side and they are helping me to understand your expectation. So please do continue that. And in case you want to understand this particular video a little bit more in detail, if you see there is a link below, if you click that you will find a blog and there you will find in much more detail about this particular video. And in case you are liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website bhavyamangla.com. Thank you.